In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I am Father Dan Odenhoven, the Associate Rector at the Cathedral of St. Joseph the Workman. It's a pleasure to be with you today to celebrate this Mass. It's also a great privilege to have the La Crosse Deanery Children's Choir with us for the celebration of this Mass, to raise our voices in praise of God. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and petition, and they shall look on him whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. On that day, the morning in Jerusalem shall be as great as on the morning of Hadad Rimen in the plain of Megiddo. On that day, there shall be open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem a fountain to purify from sin and uncleanness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sanctuary, 
to behold your strength and your glory. Your loving mercy is better than life. My lips will speak your reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, through faith you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free person, there is not male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendant, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, who do this crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever wish loses his life for my sake will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Once again, Jesus went off to a place of solitude to pray. How he must have enjoyed those moments of solitude, those moments when he could be alone in his prayer with his Father. This time the Gospel mentions that his disciples were also with him. What a gift for them to be invited into that moment, 
into the prayer he had with his father. At this moment, the disciples were clearly in a different physical and spiritual place than the crowds. The crowds had an impression of him based upon his miracles and his teachings, what they could see. The disciples had that same experience, but also the experience of seeing him at prayer and even entering into his prayer. What a difference prayer makes. The disciples and crowds came to different understandings about who Jesus Christ is. The crowd saw Jesus as a prophet in the long line of prophets. Peter, speaking for the disciples, stated that they believed him to be the Christ of God, the Messiah. What a difference prayer makes. It is the difference between believing Christ to be a prophet or the Messiah. The difference between just hearing about salvation and encountering the Savior. The belief we have in who Jesus Christ is determines the direction of our life. If we answer like the crowds, that he is just one of the prophets, then we can take the teachings we like and leave the rest. But if we answer like Peter that Jesus is the Christ of God, then he is truly the Lord of our life. He has a center place in our hearts, and he is the one we look to in making every decision of our lives. Prayer grows our faith in Jesus Christ and keeps him centered deeply within our heart. Like the disciples, what a gift we have right now to enter once again into the prayer of Jesus Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of of heaven and earth, earth, of all all things things visible and and invisible. invisible. I believe believe in one Lord, Lord, Jesus Jesus Christ, the the only only begotten begotten Son of God, born born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from from light, true God God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Through him him all things things were made. For For us men and for our salvation, he came came down down from heaven. And by by the the Holy Spirit Spirit was incarnate the the Virgin Mary. Mary, and became, became man. For our, our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and, and rose again on the third day in accordance, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ, the new Adam, has destroyed sin and recreated us in his image. United to him, Let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, or other persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a way of telling them they never started the clock.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, 
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Just a word of thanks for your support for the TV Mass. We sure are glad that you're with us weekly and certainly happy that you send in your prayers, your petitions, and all the various ways you participate in the, in the Mass itself. What I'm going to ask you is if, the, if you are able, please send in a contribution and uh, help us to defray the cost of the TV Mass. We would like to continue to bring these uh, masses to you and continue to help you to participate with us. So thank you, God be with you, and God reward you.